I have done a whole lot of speaking. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me now. I hope. Let me know, hun. Oh, there we go. Cool. As I was saying, when you couldn't hear me, I should have checked my uh, volume levels anyway. Hi! <laughs> but the last, uh, last part we left off with was we got some information from the kid that we found yesterday. But we weren't going to put him up on stand because there wasn't enough information. But Officer Gumshoe had come in and went ahead and uh, took him into custody because he's a high profile witness. And they will be putting him up on the stand. So I don't know where Phoenix Wright stands here because I don't know what the hell he's going to do. We might be screwed. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Uh, thank God for you, hon. I'll try to check that book if I can, but we'll see. Will, Will Powers. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes. Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, oh, oh nothing. Uh, <laughs> really, it's nothing. Oh, it's something. Right, Mia? Oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. It's because she's a ghost. That's wrong. <laughs> this is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked. We have to find something, Phoenix, today. That's the thing. We haven't checked the book that the kid gave us yesterday. I'm hoping there's something in there. But, I don't know. It's that, or lose the trial. It's, it's really not going to be easy. Put your tits away, Mia. <laughs> October 19th, 10 a.m., District Court. Courtroom number four. Here we go. Here we go. Edgeworth is going to kick my ass. Uh, court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready. No, we're not. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to our attention. It has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. This guy is creepy and he's probably a pedophile. Or that director. <sighs> oh God. Will the witness state his name and profession? Hold on one sec, guys. Okay. How rude can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the Steel Samurai, noob. R-F-L-R-O-F-L <sighs> Sal Manella, I'm the director, television Where are you at, Glo where are you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? $20 he is <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet he is, I bet he is You seen how he looked at freaking Maya? She only 17 <laughs> Yes, your honor Hmm. Very well. 
Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. All right, she doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. <coughs> oh, here we go. I was at the studio from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. There... I don't think he skipped lunch. <laughs> We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Huh. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Here we go, people. Yes, your honor. The day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. Alright. Not, you know. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene went through. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh, yeah. That security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing, lol. She was cheering on Hammer, if you could believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Alright, that's the limp. Which of course led me to miss my, missing my lunch, ROFS. <laughs> Rolling on the floor, starving. Yo, what's up, Shion? If no one left their chair, how did they know about the fallen tree? Very true. But then again, you would think um, they would be notified for something that big happening, seeing how the road was blocked. So it's not, it, it's not beyond all, you know, whatever, that they would hear about it. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah. Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? <laughs> it's a contradiction. Yeah, it's a con- Yeah. That word. Contra contradiction! Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Benella. Hmm? What did you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table. Yes! There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Murph! <laughs> no, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, good call. Uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't want to mention it. But I did eat after all. <laughs> <laughs> a T-bone steak, you mean? Hello, why are you lolling? It's weird to see game characters do that. It does, but he's a weird, like, internet meme type-ish character. Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspected that much. So, when exactly did you eat it? 
It's just that creepy guy, like, super rapey. <laughs> we took one break during that meeting. You took a break! I, uh, wolfed it down then. Drool. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. We're in the meeting until four. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this, the sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manella. Those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Yeah, I, I believe I believe it because you are pedal bearing con it. Actually, I, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting? During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well, yeah, not a one. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. You just said you had an idea, Phoenix. Come on now. Don't be stupid in front of Edgeworth. He will play that to a T. Are we really in court over who ate whose food? No, no, it's bigger. It is bigger than that. Mr. Bandala, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, R-O-F-L. Well, um, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, 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 yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about his break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Erk. <laughs> uh, Edgeworth is laughing. Ed Edgeworth is going to ream me a new one. <coughs> yeah, FWIW. Uh, we took a break, ROFL. But it was only 15 minutes. 15? That's yeah, only 13 in base 12. What? Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, lol. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Huh, it's weird that he mentioned it like that. Really weird. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Here we go, people! Uh, what time exactly did you take this break? Hmm, I'd say it was around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30. That's the time of death. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time was... No. Honestly, I I hope I'm not ruining anything. I, I'm, I don't know for sure. But I could tell you, like, I really think Hammer was killed over at Studio Two. But it was only 15 minutes. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. Alright, the other one was Divas. Sorry, D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. But the tree fell at 2.15. I know the tree fell at 2.15, but there... Something has to be up. Something really needs to be up, because... I, I honestly... I, I truly think he died over at Studio 2. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio 1. Like, I think he was killed over there. Why is that? 
Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Fucking Edgeworth. Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people with the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Claim it, I claim it loud. No, it's impossible. Uh, a picture is the only help you get. I... Wow, um... What do you guys think I should pick here? I don't... Shenanigans. Yeah, well, that's not an option, Shion. <laughs> claim it and claim it loud. Or, no, it's impossible. I don't think they went... You know what? No. I'm gonna say no, it's impossible. I couldn't check the records there. I mean, I could've, but... The the thing like you said the thing was f had fallen. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Haha! -ha! I thought you might be th thoughtless or trending trading, uh, treading on thin ice. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mr. Monkeyhead barred the way. Yeah, that wasn't moved till just until before just before four o'clock. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mr. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we had seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Mandela from the stand. But what? It's over. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the steel samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. Shit. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure either, Shion. All that is lacking as decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive evidence. A witness. Oh, it's gotta be the boy. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. Uh, the court will take a 10 minute recess after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for a recess. It's gonna be the boy. He's, they're gonna put the boy on the stand and we're gonna be screwed. I don't... There was no way for them to get to Studio One in that time. But that's not saying that whoever was in the Steel Samurai suit couldn't get over to Studio 2. 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking what, <clears throat> what me and Jed were talking about last night was that Hammer is the one who stole the suit. And I'm thinking he went over to Studio 2 with the suit. But that doesn't really explain how they found him dead in the evil magistrate suit and not the steel samurai suit. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. But Mia? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a child before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. I think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. I... you... Thanks. Sniff! Game seems exciting. Dude, the game is amazing. Let me tell you. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. This, this game had us, like, on our damn, at the edges of our seats yesterday. And it's only gonna get better from there. Here we go. They're putting a kid on. I know they're putting a kid on. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler, let's see, of tender years, and this is a murder case. We worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. Bro, gotta ask, how do you get your chat to work? I still can't figure it out. Um, I can help you with that after I'm done with this, for sure. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. It, it's not hard, um, but you may have to um, go over to the uh, the Streamlabs website and activate it. So I'll help you with that after I'm done uh, the stream. Ah, <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand up. Oh, all right, guard. Please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should work. Why's it gotta be a donut crate? Huh? Why, why does one of the guards have to bring a donut crate? You, are you trying to say something? Damn. I'll check it out before my stream starts. But for sure, dude, it would help a lot. Yeah, no problem, man. All you gotta do is ask, homie. And I'll be willing to help you out. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? LOL. It is funny. She, uh, little man gets a box. Witness. What? Just cause you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around. And why does he have a sword in the courtroom? Cody. Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Ugh. Witness, uh, I mean Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. <laughs> it's fake! Robbery, lol. Just kidding. Bribery with donuts! It probably is bribery with donuts. That's why the guards are all there. They work for those uh, jelly-filled, you know? 
You were present. Er, uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, er, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just, Mr. I, I prefer Peter Gra- A very long day. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <sighs> but my apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Edgeworth... Edgeworth hasn't been having any luck with this trial. <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of it in the court record. Cody's camera added to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Edgeworth is losing his touch. He really is. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studio that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going to the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. You've broken him into nothingness. It wasn't me. It was old bag and now it's this kid. <laughs> when I came out by the studio, there was the steel samurai. It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time of a shot for a shot, I tell you. He didn't have the camera with him? I kind of think that's a lie. Honestly, especially when he just said that he takes it with him everywhere. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. I, again, I, I don't think he's telling the full truth. There, there has to be something in his testimony that I might be able to press or show some kind of proof. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here. Honestly. <laughs> okay. I want to see... Well, contains photos of every victory scene in every battle. <clears throat> the Steel Summer is one. Okay. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost in the way for about 30 minutes. Good news, dude. I got it to work. Nice, homie. Nice. You got lost in the woods. Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But I guess what happened next... But guess what happened next? When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Hopefully no more looking at my phone to see what you guys are saying. I still do that, but... Yeah. <laughs> when he opened up the gate and went inside... I see. What then? It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Now he's saying bad guy. So he's not saying evil magistrate. So I... I wonder who the hell it was. What sort of bad guy was it? 
A guy, a person, kinda tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know, it was kinda far away. Huh, he's being awfully vague. Of course the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! <laughs> what happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kinda didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor! Y yes, I suppose he was. If I had my camera... A new digital camera, Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Now, do you guys think I should present this or just press on this one? As honestly he he has it says he always carries it. So there shouldn't be a reason why he didn't have it that day. Present. Okay. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you? Oh... Uh... I was putting the pressure on too much. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? That's some a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright. How cruel of you are to terrorize a poor child, so... I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? He <laughs> means you, Edgeworth, you freaking liar. Well, Cody. But what? Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? He's standing on a box! So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Well, well why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Oh. What I saw. Yeah, yeah. I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, and the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules. <sighs> hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. There's, there's got to be something he's still lying about. Yeah, I had my camera with me. So why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Uh, I take back the poor kid statement. I swear it's going to be my thesis. <laughs> um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away. Not even once. No. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I'm getting to that. The Steel Samurai, he goes... For the bad guy. Wham! So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? 
I told you. A person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, well, because the Seal Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick, and a samurai punch, and a samurai chop, and a samurai slap. Something like that. I'm still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Oh, I'm gonna press him harder. Cody. Well, what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? Yet you missed the most important part? What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai fights. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Oh, um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of this fight? Oh, he couldn't watch it. He was watching something else. Or show evidence. Why? I, I, I have an idea. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look from the fight? A new digital camera. Cody always carries it. Though he's still learning how to use it. If that's the case, he had to take his eyes off of what was going on to figure out how to use the camera. So, I'm gonna present that. I think that's the way to go it. Because... I, I don't know about you, whenever I got a new camera or something, I didn't know how to use that bitch. And it always I always had to look down at it to see what buttons I needed to press. So that could have happened with him, and he could have missed that killing blow. No slap or chop or kick is going to kill somebody. Well, I mean, it could, but... I mean... Here's my proof. What's that? The camera. The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the, cri uh, at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. It could have been the monkey head noise. He was trying to take a picture. I mean, the monkey head noise, I, I don't know, would, would they have heard it all the way over near the Studio 2 gates? Hey, Bullseye, w -w what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his zero. No, never mind. It would have been too late. 
Exactly. And not take a picture. Right. Cody. There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you wouldn't you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. <laughs> Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture to the of the fight? Um... Welcome to the real world, kid. See, I knew he couldn't do it. I knew he, I knew he had to be looking at the damn camera, and I knew his little ass was lying. Witness testimony. No photo. Ah, you're right, pops. The steel samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Th that's all that happened. Yep. Huh. Aw, <laughs> you making him cry. Screw him, he shouldn't be lying. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Oh, he is crying. Poor kid. No photo. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um... Well, uh... I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely. So I held up my camera to take a picture. Why couldn't you take a picture? My two camera has my new camera has too many buttons, so I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture, I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. So that's all that happened. Uh I'm gonna press here. When the lens opened, what did you see? Oh, uh, well, a person on the ground and, and the steel samurai. So that's all that happened, yep. That's all? Yeah, I, I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? I'm gonna press him. Now, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I could use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye. <laughs> How did, did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Oh, wow. This feels great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped the clutches of the evil villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. I took a few shots, but why would you erase them? You erased them. Y yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Silver uh, Steel Samurai? I wanted to say Silver Samurai. The book. I can... Yeah, I should probably present a book. Well, you know, why would I want a picture 
want to keep a picture like that. Hmm. He's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. I want... There... I'm gonna present a book here. Cody. What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I get them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. It kind of reminds me of, like, Ash Ketchum. Not gonna lie. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Uh, Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? Of the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary. I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No way! No way! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Mamiya, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Oh, what is it? Oh! Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture of the in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? The photos were blurry. He erased them by mistake. The Steel Samurai didn't win. Oh, yeah. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, 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 no way. No. It's impossible. The, the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, whatever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody... It was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai, Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Oh, holy hell! Order! Why will I have order? Witness! I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Ah! Oh no! Poor Cody! Oh! Cody, that day you saw the Steel, the steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Okay, okay! You're right. 
the, the steel samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Ah! Oh, poor Cody, no! Order, order, order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The steel samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the steel samurai was the one who fell. Oh, Edgeworth is going to hate us! Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. Uh, an error? What's this all about? Hammer was the victim. Steel Samurai was the victim. There was no victim. There was no victim in this case. What? Has the defense taken leave of its senses? Of course, Jack Hammer died, but the Steel Samurai fell too. It was a draw. I'm telling you, it was framed. Sorry, I was too shocked to say anything for a bit there. Listen, right? Only one person died in this incident, and that is Jack Hammer. Yet now you claim there was no victim? Are you insane? Uh, he's pulling out all the stops now. I'm sorry. It was... It was I who was wrong. Okay, right. First you're right, now you're wrong. Which is it? But look, I'm sure there's something over we're overlooking. Oh, what the hell did I do? If you're so sure, then tell us what it is. What's this about? <sighs> the Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He was the victim. I got the hiccups, I'm sorry. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through this morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember, what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. So she didn't see him. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area, area after lunch. What they twist? Yeah! <laughs> Damn right, Xion. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Massive legend! <laughs> What's up, Indy? Pops! Uh, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Oh, Cody, help us! Help us, Cody, man! What? Show us, quick! No way, man. If you're gonna look at me like that... Now! Stiff! Here, this is it. Uh... Looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright. Just got done recording a, a bit late. It's all good, man. We're still in this court case. 
I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Me, what? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. The photo was all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your, your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find an inconsistency in this photo. I don't know. He's just standing in front of the studio doors. Um. What do you guys think? Because... I'm not seeing really much of anything. It's just studio doors. I mean, and most of the pictures are black. I just got here, so I don't know. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> it's all good, Tim. We'll catch you up. Two. Where's the two? That's an S. Um... Oh! Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Two is above the person. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I got it. I got it, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one. Your Honor, correct. Ah, see, this proves what I was saying earlier, that Jack Hammer, now that we know he's the one that took the Steel Samurai costume while Will Powers was sleeping, I told you he went over to uh, Studio 2. So that means whoever he fought ended up killing him, and then they moved the body over to Studio 1. Ah, we were right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, but that's impossible. Huh, uh, what's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> I fucking love the judge. It was the evil chick. It could have been the evil chick. Um, it, it has to be her or that other weird pedophile director dude the body was moved yeah um how was it moved though because the roads were blocked I'll use the studio guide map the body was found here in studio one however what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder it does not say one on that gate in the photo your honor here is the true scene of the crime Show the judge where the murder took place. St Studio 2. <laughs> Here, at Studio 2. If the kid could go through the woods, so... True. They probably did bring him through the woods to move him over to Studio 1. To, um... To, uh, pin this on Will Powers. I see. That would explain the two on the gate of the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. No filming is done there. The trailer is there. Uh, the tra no f As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now on the day, a meeting was, be was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. By the way, Crimson Moon DLC on Startling Fantastic DLC. Star Wolf missions were difficult but fun. That's pretty cool, Indy. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. During that break, Mr. Sal Manella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. So, 
the path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path the path was blocked at 2:15. In other words, the victim went to the studio too before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony. Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Watch the suit be in the car. It might be! Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the ones. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime. Studio 2. Oh, order, order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. We did hear a band. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Bang. Man, my phone being a beep. <laughs> Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? But, well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that, vic that the victim Jackhammer stole the costume. I have proof. I I'm going to I'm going to present the bill the the pill bottle because he was the only one that was next to Will Power in that one picture when the break was just about over. So he was the only one close enough to Will Powers to be able to drug him. I have proof. Yo, it's coming out almost exactly to a T with the way we talked about it last night. You you do? You do, Mr. Wright. Oh, that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. This is it. An empty bottle? An empty medicine bottle. I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Oh, I knew it! Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes? But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. You're uh, an idea. Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle, give it to the judge. Okay. This court will s suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The Steel Samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the sa steal samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? I love how everything kind of comes together in a mind-blowing end, like a Saw movie. You gotta check the trailer and car. Yeah, I will. I'll check them as soon as we are able to do the investigation part. And yeah, you're right. Everything does kind of come together at the end of it. Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework.
Mr. Edgeworth. Mm hmm. You will need to reconsider your stance on this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Oh shit. Things are getting fucking heated. Very well, court is adjourned. Now, now here's the thing. What what I think was since Jack Hammer he had screwed up years beforehand, like five years. Uh, those people's names are ridiculous. They are really ridiculous. I do agree with you, Shia. But I think that's what makes it even more fun with the game. But anyway, Jack Hammer screwed up like five years ago. I think that D. Vasquez chick was was doing something to him by making him uh, play like these smaller roles, like villains and whatnot. I think he was upset with that and stole the Steel Samurai costume and went to confront her and ended up, she ended up having him killed or they got into a tussle and she was able to kill him somehow. I don't know. But she is the one that murdered Jack Hammer. I bet you. I'm like a little kid on the edge of my seat. I need to know. <laughs> We're, we're going to find out uh, soon enough, babe. Whew, that was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously, I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Me too. Really, you both seem so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Did you dead? Oh, of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation, but I promise you we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Alright, thanks. Oh, to be continued. I should leave it here, right? Mm. Call quits on this tree? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna eat me. It's gonna eat me alive. We're gonna find out who the hell killed Jack Hammer. Don't do this to me. No, I won't. I won't. We're continuing, see? October 19th, 3.27 p.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Oh, thank God. Maya. So what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow. Good going, Nick. On the initial trial system tomorrow is the last day we have. There's a trial. What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So, under that system, trials have to end in three days. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. We gotta go back to the studio. October 19th, Global Studios, main gate. Oh, Miss Old Bag. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think our guard's down. Uh, yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. You eat, you die. Oh, God. Can I hear a meow? Uh, probably. Wow, she's alive. Um, I was wondering about Dee Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. Meow. <laughs> Indy's meowing now. 
She always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's soft, a pushover, does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. About Mr. Hammer. Oh, fuck, it's that face again. That shit's gonna give me nightmares, honestly. Erg. I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer. You drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal. A thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. I'm um, gonna throw up his, uh, miscreate? What? Oh, okay, let's move. Let's go to the employee area. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yarg! Oh, fuck! <laughs> he is a big dude! He enjoys pain. Oh. Oh, okay. No, 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 no touching. Eek. Oh, uh, hi, Gumshoe. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. D -d did it me? Yeah, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I could be a little... Uh, dramatic. Dramatic? Wow, a lot of times. Sorry, I couldn't read that word. God, I'd hate to see Gumshoe running at me. You know, big dude, like... I suppose it's the actor in me. Uh-huh. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Oh, the plate. There's nothing wrong with big guys. We're just saying, like, he looks like he could break in... He looks like a shit brick house, like a brick wall. That he's big. And, you know, he wouldn't exactly be somebody I'd want to piss off and be stuck in a dark alley with, you know what I mean? Because he'd probably beat the shit out of me. <laughs> so you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a sensory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This relax reacts to the sleeping pills, see? If there's traces, it'll change color. Wow. No, why did they spell dramatic with a qui? That's what threw me off, dude. Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? No, no. Everything in due time, pal. I had the queen part. <laughs> gumshoe. Gumshoe. Well, uh, the testing solution on the plate changed color, alright. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. The plate added to the court record. That just proves that he has been drugged. Investigation. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. 
and some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed his paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Uh, crushing paper cups. Cups, bottles. So, whatever happened with that empty bottle? On the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. Yeah, see? I knew it. I knew he was the one that drugged him. So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pill bottle added to the court record. Awesome. I'm gonna check this. The remains of the employee's lunch scattered around. Everyone was probably shocked to clean up. There was a T-bone steak, minus one steak. Alright. Um... I don't think we need to talk to him anymore. So let's move into the dressing room. Empty dressing rooms like this are kind of lonely, aren't they? I'm sure Mr. Powers will be back soon. He'll be fine. Yeah. Alright. Uh, looks like someone is sleeping here. Well, we can be pretty sure our WP did take a nap here, like you said. I'm not sure being drug counts as taking a nap. Can we check the bag one more time? It's the power's bag. LWP can come back, come pick it up himself soon. Alright. Let's check over here. There's some regular clothes. Yeah. Alright. I don't think we need to be here anymore. Let's go over to uh, Studio 2. October 19th, Studio One Entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio Two. Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. I don't know, but we're going outside Studio Two. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. Hello? H hello <laughs> Meyer, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Oh, fine. You... Let's, let's talk to you for a bit. Um, excuse me. Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder. And... She's so weird. She is really weird, dude. She's so, like, uptight. Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something next. Really ticking me off. She's so sad. She's high. Yeah, something, man. She's smoking on something in that bite. Oh, dear. Oh, Powers. Um, it's the Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You, you did it? Nick, she did it! She's the killer! <laughs> My fey blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves. Oh, dear. 
Uh, I want to check that damn van. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd be it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Uh, sure, if I had a license. Why doesn't Nick have a license? Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this badge. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? What is this? An incinerator. Uh, apparently they just put this one in. I bet you I know where the frickin' suit went. Oh, it's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. We know about this stuff. This is where Salmonella and D. Vasquez ate. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey. So they ate T-bone steaks too. Is something wrong? I don't know. I'm getting this funny feeling. Something about this just feels odd, you know? Can't say that I do. Uh... That... Ben? There's some flowers here. Ah, oh, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close, that fence looks dangerous. Please let there be some of the suit left. It didn't say anything about the suit. The trailer door, it's unlocked. Alright, maybe we move inside the trailer? October 19, Studio 2 trailer. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. Huh. No clues here. Nothing in that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. This is where they had that meaning. There are documents and paper scattered around. It looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the sets cost. I can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. Uh, no movie poster, Dynamite Samurai, Star Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer, Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Right, starring Jack Hammer, pose is quite old. Wow. It's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A typical summer romance with a samurai on a horse. Uh, an old movie poster. The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurais sing about? Chopping half heads? Oh my god! That movie was the best! It's about a samurai who sings... His way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing Samurai Stars. What's next? Ninja Ballet? Uh. The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This is far into October. The dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. Winter's coming! <laughs> I guess there's... Nothing else to do here? She won't talk to me. Do we present anything? Uh, uh... She's not even looking. Okay, hey, you, look. But what? Are you showing that to me, Nick? Uh... I don't... <laughs> yeah, see, that's checked. Apparently, just see us there. Blah 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 blah. Where the hell do I go? I mean, there's really nothing to do. It. We can't get back to Studio One. We get the card key back. I don't have that card key anymore. 
I'm bushed. Maybe I'll sit down here for a bit. This is exactly why I don't want to get old ever. Hey, hey, I'm still young. I'm just tired. Nick, when you start having to say, I'm still young, you know it's all over. What a bitch. But, but I am still young. <laughs> I mean... What the hell do I do? Maybe we talked to Will Powers. October 19th, Detention Center. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. Though there's not really anything I could do to help. Haha, <laughs> I'm not really sure what I could do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Okay, yeah, I can ask him some stuff, so... Could you tell me more about Miss Vesquez? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? N nothing, forget it. I, I've only heard rumors anyhow. Boy! Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director, but something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high, and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though well, I can't imagine him jump. Is that a fat joke, Dick? That's not nice. Damn it. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? Uh, I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. So, Vasquez comes to Global, and he stops being a star. Why? She's got something on Hammer. Five years ago. Well, um... I don't think there's anything we could present to him. Let's go talk to... The Vasquez again, I guess. Oh, fuck. Sorry about that. God damn it. Uh, the blackmail is real. <sighs> there has to be something. 
These looks like materials for making a movie. They've been sitting here for quite some time. A closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think it's this is part of a temporary film set. What the hell can it be? Excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here the day of the murder. Mm. I... I have nothing. I don't... She's not even looking. Okay, hey, you, look. Mm. Who the hell else? What? What else can I do? I um, Miss Oldbag, what do you think of this? Think I'm not in the mood for thinking. Thank you very much. Okay, what do you think about this? Snap the old lady. Snap. Jesus. Oh, Mr. Hammer. Uh, yeah, it's the same old shit. Wow. Okay. Computer runs the studio. Uh huh. It looks like it's been turned off for the day. Security guard station, this old bag must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk in there. Touch her things. You can see that the computer runs security cameras. Overheard map of the studio. Main entrance to the studios. They probably have a police officer on patrol in there. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry film. Yeah, there's nothing. A missile bag. What? Uh, filth out of my sight. And you're claiming that's poor old hammer in there? And I thought you were such an innocent youth. Blah. Oh, good hell. Uh. So bad. What do you think of this? Think. I'm not in the mood. Oh. Let's go back here. No. Let's talk about everything, but. Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that. Whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way to. Oh, so sorry, sniff. Excuse me, thank you for showing me that. Here's that picture again. Is that really Jack Hammer inside that suit? Okay, maybe we're getting somewhere at this. He's the only one who who it could have been. But why would he? Eh, why? You're the medium. Why don't you summon up Mr. Hammer's spirit and ask him yourself? Uh, give me about three more years. Look at us, the two novices. I mean, homie. You tell me more about Vasquez, other producer. She's a well respected genius. Genius. Uh, it's been five years now. Alright, wrong. There's the teller different these days. What is that? Camera with nothing but hits, Global Studios. And what? No, no, nothing. Forget it. I've only heard rumors, anyhow. <sighs> Ask Grams about the monkey. <sighs> um. Can't really. Alright. So, what do you think of this? Think, yeah.
It's looking like Will Powers was drugged. I'm going to go back to the precinct to do some more detailed tests. You're being very free with your information today, Detective. Well, don't go telling anyone this, pal. But I was kind of impressed at today's trial, too. Most lawyers would have given up after that director's testimony. I think if you, it'd be anyone but you up there, Powers would be done by now. Detective, about that bottle. Oh, that. Talk about embarrassing, pal. I can't believe I missed that on my first sweep of for evidence. Don't know how I can apologize to Mr. Edgeworth. Must be tough being a detective with all that responsibility. Blush. Uh, oh, I'm guessing I know as much about that as you do, pal. I don't. Oh, what is it? What do I have to do? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, hello. You weren't in here before. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent. Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! Okay, let's talk, woman. Mr. Hammer. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. Oh, we're getting into something. A rumor. Yeah, Miss Vasquez, the producer, had some kind of hold on him. I knew it! She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt. What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the tu the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. Shenanigans! I knew it! <laughs> it's always shenanigans, Shion. Always. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set was... That trailer part of the film set then? Last episode. What do you mean the last Steel, Steel Samurai? Uh, I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no. Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. Evil lady, you're busted. Damn right she's busted. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Uh, five years ago. I need an accident five years ago. Yes, in Studio 2. That trailer there was part of a film set. Could you tell us what happened? Sorry. I don't think I can. They really they really don't want us to talk about it. Motherfucker. Why aren't they going to make kid shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the steel samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want to quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. 
No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. <laughs> Take a look at this. What am I taking a look? What am I giving her? What's this? This is why you can't stop the Steel Samurai. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Neither do I, Nick. I mean, but I don't either. Oh, okay. The evidence rather than words. What evidence? What do I have? What am I trying to give her? What's this? This is some... why... What the hell am I trying to do here? Oh! Shit. Book boot. Yeah, yeah. And this is... A fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you could tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Oh, thank you. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I could tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died and it was Hammer's fault. That's... That's what she has on him. She's been blackmailing him with that for the past five years. And bet you, he got sick and tired of it. And that's why he stole the Steel Samurai suit. And went off and confronted her. So someone died. It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this. Miss Old Bag. Oh, joy. We got to go fuck with her now. She was there at the studio back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. <laughs> if she'll talk. Alright, let's go back to Old Bag. Ow, oh, fuck. <laughs> what? You're still slinking around? If you like the police so much, why don't you take over for me? The old one bag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Um... I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Ah, oh, fuck, she's angry. Who told you? Who did you hear that from? I, um, Nicholas. N -n -n Nichols. Nicholas, Nick, Penny, Nicholas. Uh, that assistant we talked to. Oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Oh, whippersnappers! Dredging a bowl of dirt on someone's past like that? And the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No. I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Power's costume. 
Oh, uh, do we have proof? I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Power's costume. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Hammer's fingerprints on it. Well, what does that prove? I I'm sure Old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's the proof that he used those pills on Powers? Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. It's old bag. Okay. You win. I'll talk. Oh, is she going to finally help us? I'm tired. See, tired of holding it all in. This old bag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo... Well... It caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Miss Vasquez. She has ties to the mafia. Ah, oh, fuck, Nick's gonna die. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. Miss Old Bag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. Here, take this. Photograph. Oh, and that's why the thing's bent! Wait a second. This is the picture? Is this the trailer? In Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell into the flower box fence. Onto the flower box fence. But how did you get this? It, it was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. Oh, let's go to the bitch. Now you'll see. Oh, bitch, you'll talk now. She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I, well, old bag. Oh, old. She means a security lady, Miss Old Bag, Nick. All right. Anyway. Ms. Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. Uh huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Oh, this is where we die. Yeah, uh, Nick's gonna die. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Let's go die. Huh. You came. Well, then what was it you wanted to talk about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez. You were using this incident. Oh, uh, accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammers so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids shows for, pretty, for petty change. Huh. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But, but you were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. 
Excuse me? What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. But where's your proof? Can you prove it? Huh. <laughs> Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? Sorry, I was working. I had to mess. I mean, get some fruit. Andy, you freaking weird! <laughs> but uh, I hope your food was good and your masked whatever. And I ran him hard, believe you me. But, but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need to is the negatives he could have made a copy. It is good, Salsa Verde Tostitos. That, that is really good. I'm there with you, Andy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. Well, what? This is valuable at- Boys! Oh, fuck, I'm dead! I knew it! Nick's gonna die! Where the hell were they? Um, who are they? Professionals. <laughs> They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? She going to kill me! What? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. No. Why should De Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! Hold it right, go shoot! <laughs> yes! I heard everything, pal. De Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. She's an it, fool. Holy shit, big man, yeah, big man to the rescue for damn short. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Dude, you should have came sooner. Detective Gumshoe, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. I'm sure you angel, right? Yo, he's Nick's guardian angel for this one. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, we're coming up to the... I'm going to guess this is the final day, yeah. Oh, the trial. This is the last trial for this part. October 20th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Oh, here we go. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. 
The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for the, this case. Hello, I'd want him on my side. He looks like he could break your neck. Yo, Gumshoe's a big dude. He's scary. He's... Thank God we had him today. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Chicken shits, he's a teddy bear. I'm sure he's a teddy bear, but... Yo, teddy bears can turn into grizzlies real quick when they're angry. <laughs> From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. He's just sick of this whole case. You, you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Are you supposed to be smoking in court? Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, pontificate. Do it when I'm not here. Ugh. Edgeworth has had enough. Edgeworth has been injured since Old Bag. Yo, Old Bag did it to him. The kid did it to him. I don't think he's going to have any luck with this chick either. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. The day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Wow, lol. My destroyer, Nick. <laughs> right? Maya, Maya wants nothing to do with this bitch. She was rude to her the whole time. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. I can't be all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk What with that monkey's head toppling over. Van added to the court record. Okay. I, I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna need your guys' help with this one, please. I entered the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please, stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. Wait, Monkey Head was at 2.15. Ugh, poor Edgeworth. 
<laughs> no luck, man. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Of course. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4 and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. Oh shit, everyone just hates Edgeworth right now. Yeah, it seems like that. It's, he can't catch a break. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Alright. If she ate, how was she fatigued? Not entirely sure. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. I'm just pressing everything here. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. It was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, no. I mean someone else. One person is enough. She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Lennox, find anything? I kind of wish she said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she had said somewhere. I had the trailer before noon. I didn't press on this one. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the at the uh, Plory area? No. Are you always this tarse? Yes. Oh dear. The meeting began at 12 sharp. Guide one leg at 2. 2.15. Scenery crime between 2.15 p.m. and 4 p.m. No. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, I get it. Stop it. We've heard this. Same could be said for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Manila, Manila used the van to drive Vasquez to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. I'd Sal take me in the van. Yeah, uh... Do... Do we remember the time that they cleared up the, um... The, uh... The statue, though. I'm not entirely sure. See another crime between 2.15 p.m. and 4. Shows an incident involving Jack Hare. We don't need to use that yet. After 4. Music didn't change. I fucked that one up. Ugh. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2 30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate two bone steaks at a table. What the hell is it that. Perf. I meant, I meant that to be a sexual joke, but hopefully that helped you. Yeah, it didn't help me at all. 
I got the trailer before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. No one left during that meeting. No one. Come on, it's tough. Oh, that's where fucking Edgeworth gets yelled at again. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to the studio. What do I show? Do I present the van here? Or... What do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think I should do with this part? Because I'm stumped, honestly. Hopefully, uh, one of you have a better idea, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, and it's gonna be trial and error. So the monkey was moved at four. Yeah. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break. I mean... Oh, at 2.30, we took a 15-minute break. They couldn't find the body till after 4. Yeah, no, they couldn't find the body, but... Um... What in the living hell do I show? Sound on your T-bone steaks on the table. In front. Oh. Ugh. That's two strikes. I thought... Found an employee area on at the. Do you have someone to verify this? Sal. Uh, I didn't find anything. I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. Yeah, I think I might have to I'm not sure already two two hits I entered the trailer oh a little before noon the meeting began at 12 sharp it ended at four anyone leave during the, no one uh, again I, I always hit this one It ended at four. Oh. The evidence I have says nothing. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break. Try presenting the stakes when she mentions them. I could, but I... That really has nothing to do with them. That's... Ha! As I thought! Uh, you claim you ate a T-bone steak. But, I say you did not! What's this now, Mr. Wright? Fuck yeah! I don't understand. <laughs> Indy was right on this one. <sighs> Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. There were no bones on the plates. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. 
The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez, tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I remember seeing those plates, no bones. Thank you, Indy. Thank you. You ate the bone. You ate a boneless steak. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during the break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere like that incinerator. I... I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Eating the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. You ate the bone too? You're a werewolf! <laughs> Order. Now, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. I didn't like that reaction on her face. Mr. Wright? Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it. Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be a, as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits. You and I... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm screwed. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spear. Yes. She's just tossing Edgeworth aside. She Edgeworth is useless here. No one liked him. None of the people he represented liked him. As I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? You couldn't, could you? I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh? You see? Yes. However, there is no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Uh, okay. How do you get that big old hole in his chest? The fence was bent. She pushed him off the steps. Oh, just like the incident five years ago. Okay, we'll go with that. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Boramo! Wrong, Mr. Wright. Uh, I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it too with my fey blood. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence enough with all the sensing. Right, okay, here's the real evidence, Your Honor. Okay. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. The spear was a distraction. Okay. But, but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during that morning action scene run-through. But someone fixed that spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now, tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order, order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence! I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. 
poor fucking Edward. I, I feel bad for him. Like, he can't do his job. You quite sane. Are you even aware of what you're saying? If this samurai spear was not a murder weapon, then probably tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what happened? What weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Edward should just walk away at this point. He really should. I can tell you. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon. Now we use that. Look at this photo. What is this? Well, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order! If I cannot have order, this child will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? What are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Oh shit. Has happened again. Someone needs to get rid of them goddamn fences then. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Why even have a fence like that anyway? Yeah, well, you need to kill people, you might as well ring them up on the fence. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer di died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume nonetheless. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer in all in, all in the space of 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in a meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? They used the van to move his ass. The van, taking the Studio One in a van. There wasn't enough time. Hmm, <clears throat> indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She couldn't deal with it. I bet she could move it. Uh, you'd be surprised. I bet she could do it. When people think their life depends on it, they can do amazing things. Mr. Wright, this is not an episode of That's Incredible. Uh, if you claim she did everything in 15 minutes... Let me guess, show me proof. Correct! Show me proof. How am I supposed to do that? And I won't have you making unsubstantiated claims. Whatever. Big ass word. I'm sorry. Wait a second, how does he know what I'm thinking? Huh. 
And you'd only look at the cold sweat running down your face to know what you're thinking. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to reconsider your claim. Well, Mr. Wright, she had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance, actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do it in the deed in time to do the deed in 15 minutes and there was a way for you to carry that body <clears throat> interesting let's hear it then mr. Wright please show us how she carried the body Boemo miss Vasquez you carried the body in stu to studio one and you used the studio van to do it Uh, she was fatigued, remember? I wonder. Uh, I know she was fatigued, but she probably had Salmonella. Freaking help her. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Objection. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course Sal Manella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could do could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. Sal was at her beck and call of all times. Yeah, he was her freaking weasel. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. I win. What? Uh. Um. So, what happens next? Don't uh, me. <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost something like that. I just said that. Oh wait, so you mean D Vasquez, so it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. Uh Okay, why is it getting weird? Who could say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright? We just engaged in a battle of wits. And the results of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Jack Hammer. Right? But, that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. Oh, what? 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 Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Um, uh... Of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Damn, she's getting under your skin now, too. It's confusing. Well... I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. <laughs> what do I do now? No further question. Testify again, Vasquez. You did it. Oh, fuck. That's the only thing I could think. I I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? Uh, no one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? 
I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. I've come so far only to fail. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of mm, the witness, Miss Vasquez. Ah. Uh, yes, Mr. Edgeworth. What the fuck? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <laughs> what are you doing, Edgeworth? Uh, see for. Uh, Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. Are you the pro? You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I think even Edgeworth isn't sure if she did it or not. I don't think he is. I don't think any of us are. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes, Mr. Edgeworth. I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Uh, well, yes, um... Indeed, verily I say, ergo... I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Huh. Nick. Why did Edgeworth... Who knows. He probably realized she did it too. But... But... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty victim verdict? <laughs> error. Error. <laughs> Does not compute. After all that... Edgeworth. After finding the body. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. And then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. Oh, where do I go from here? She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Alright. After finding the body. That's what Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 for the rehearsal. Uh, so I'd say it was then. But when exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. But she left a script at the scene. Wait. She went back to the trailer to get the script. It was left in the studio. Th that it was. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna press harder on that one. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh? What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. But boy, the witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. 
did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body laying in the front of us. Yet, you expect me to stay calm. You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Sigh. Press harder. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around. You discovered a murdered body, and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Huh. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one that no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, powers didn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. That's fucked up. Poor Will Powers. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated. Pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I'm gonna press on this one before I go to that one. Old bag. The security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going towards the studio. Alright, the Steel Samurai. Did the, did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based sorely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all of this after the fact. A photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in there I could use. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out. Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. For a woman who claims to be m so intelligent, I don't see how she couldn't be calm. Very true. Covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot riding on it with all those big wigs at that meeting. I'm sure the professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. I'm back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script and your direction notes. Yes, they're quite vulnerable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. How would you know? It was a murder before you got to the building. Haha! Uh -huh. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I can't. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Objection. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Ah, oh, Edgeworth for the win! Huh? Think! Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth. What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career ch 
career change to defense. I appreciate your the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Huh. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Caught red-handed. He's tired of your shit, bitch. <laughs> right, Edgeworth, gang up on her now. Oh, dude. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that hammer was injured. Fuck! That close! But he injured his ankle! <laughs> Again, if Gort was like this, I'd go to all the time. Yeah, yeah, so would I. Uh, you have to find something to peg this on her. Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. I was with Sal and Old Bag. No, come on. The assistant was there too. We pressed all this. I immediately called the police when Powered show up. Pow, wait. Assistant was there too. Immediately called the police. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on scene. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. Then silence. Dead silence. Uh, silence. Hey, hey Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. Seeing the lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at him. I actually left out her proceeding. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. I knew that hammer was injured. Uh. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. You have to find something to peg us on her. Or everything we've done will be wasted. Uh, what do I do? Since it was there to... Immediately caught the security lady. He did it. I actually left out. Went back to get my script from the trailer. Oh, God. What do I do here? What the hell do I do here? What what can I... The script in your direction notes. As the quite vulnerable... Yeah... Okay, yeah, we're going through this shit again. Yeah, we already seen this. Okay, but what do we do here? Like, what? I knew the hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. What do I do? Oh god, there's... I went back to the trailer to get my scripts. I knew the hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Showed a photo of the limping man when she says Powers was injured. She states the wrong name of the man who was injured. Oh, she does! I knew the hammer was injured and couldn't... 
Oh, uh, Indy, you're two for two, homie. You knew that hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. But what? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Fuck you, bitch! Think you're all smart and shit. Nah, nah. <laughs> Nice job there, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I I already said it. it was Sal who told me. That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Benello was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You heard Mr. Manella wrong. You saw a Hammer limping. Actually, he didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Uh, and when was he doing this? Well, it would have to be... It would have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez. You met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Oh, we got her now! Order! Order! I will have order. Witness! Can you refute this claim? Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Ah, oh, shit. She meant to kill Powers. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on that matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? I mean... There is nothing, we got nothing that says she had a motive to kill him. So, I, I can't prove that she had a motive. Nick, no. Saying you can't prove it now would be admitting defeat. So get away, but, but what proof could I possibly have? She's in that pick. Yeah, she's in the pick of the uh, incident that happened five years ago. What they're showing in those other picks is like what if scenarios. I don't care if it's impossible, you still have to fight this one. Okay, I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Uh, huh. 
five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With Dee Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for made him work for you for pity change. Petty change. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes. Undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if, as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Matt, D. Vasquez, not the other way around. Wasn't there a blackmail m mentioned? Yeah, but it was his motive to go kill her, not the other way around. She hiding something. I love this right Edgeworth team. I do too, dude. It's awesome. <clears throat> what motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was good he was a good source of income for me. And I never got and I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright? Please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. I feel evidence she has no motive. She had no motive, Your Honor. Exactly. What's that now? It was Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. Why? What? Hammer made a mistake! Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him for all those years. Oh, I think we did it! Oh, I think we did it, guys! So there wasn't a murder after all. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes, I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Uh, Miss Vasquez, what? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. That was five years ago. Manuel, Manuel! Ms. Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no! How could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No, Manuel, no, Manuel! D don't touch him, Ms. Vasquez! No! Please, please don't die, please! Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. Oh, this was a trip and a half. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I... Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. 
that he should be found is that he should be found so is only natural not a miracle yes yes you're right very well this court finds the defendant mr. will powers ah uh, guilty <laughs> she loved the man hammer killed I think so I think she did <laughs> that is all this court is adjourned oh we did it we did it this was an experience dude we this is still the first game there there are four more <laughs> October 20th, 1.12 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. There was too much mixed emotions in this. I don't know if my brain heart can handle four more. Dude, we're not even done with all the cases in the first game. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me, why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, what do you think? Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once. I could definitely see why this series is so huge. Still probably wouldn't play it, but damn it's fun to watch. And it just gets harder. I bet it does get harder. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh, oh, uh... Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty old costume. Oh shit. Is is something wrong? No, no, uh, of course not. Uh, hey Nick, Edgeworth. Oh, he looks angry. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Uh-huh. What? Um... That uh, was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? Oh, I, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! <laughs> Will Powers so far has been the most anime looking character in this game. I don't know, dude. This dude kind of looks like a cross between Alucard, Sephiroth, and Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> right? I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However,. In retrospect, I would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary uh, feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Gato. Ah! Aren't those kind of necessary? The only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. Why, Edgeworth? Why? Stop insulting Alucard. He kind of reminds me of him. I think it's like the furly thing he has here. Is Edgeworth gay for powers? No, he just likes him because he was in an anime or TV show or whatever. 
That's what I came here to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me, what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? I would like to know that, too. And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing the, that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. And Pink Princess! Uncertain and unnecessary feelings. Sure, not gay for powers. <laughs> uh, it was toward right, not powers. It, it was. Nick, this is it. The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead role again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. No, I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Oh, this is so cool. We did it. <laughs> oh, that was so good. So many twists and turns. A brand new episode has been added. Episode what? But yeah, we're not going to start this one here today. We're going to save this for the next time I stream this. Uh, turn about goodbyes. I kind of wonder what that's all about. But we have, uh, we, we've been playing for a good old while and it's, it's gotten, uh, it's got pretty interesting. This, we just finished our third case. We're going on to episode four, Turnabout Goodbyes, which would be day one of a whole new trial. So hopefully that'll be as exciting as the last one. But uh, as of now, I'm going to call it quits on this one and say thank you to everyone that's actually showed up tonight and, you know, participated and helped me. Yo, I wonder if they have made the Pink Princess show. I Google. <laughs> Google is your friend. <laughs> Love the stream, man. Always a lot of fun. Yeah, dude, I'll let you know when we start this case. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, thanks again for watching, everybody, and participating along with me and helping me out and all that stuff. So, But I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye-bye.